will soon be sharing his own experience on how he found his own aha moment and then plotted a new route and charted a new flight and into the new normal and is today thriving. Our speaker today is a trained engineer and an, and an adventurer at heart. He's also an avid outdoor enthusiast, having been the president of the Singapore Adventurers Club for more than 10 years. This evening, he will be sharing how he was bitten by the entrepreneur bug and is now building a multinational team of amazing partners to take on the world and be a force to be reckoned with for doing good despite these trying times. So without further ado, let us join PD Kid on this two hour chartered flight. So please fasten your seatbelt and enjoy the flight. I give you PD Kid. Thank you, thank you everybody. Yeah, okay, while well, well, we are fastening the seat belts, everybody, okay, you know, let's enjoy a little in-flight video that will be coming on in a short while. Okay, shall we have the uh, pilot play the, uh, play the uh, in-flight video? Take it away.
Well, good evening, one and all. Welcome, welcome to the uh, uh, my talk tonight called Thriving in the New Normal. Uh, give me a moment, just let me pull up a quick slide and then uh, we'll get going on that. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, okay, I think for some of you who kind of uh, know me, uh, would kind of know that I love to hear stories, okay? And I also love to tell stories, especially when it's a good one. And surely there's this one story that, you know, I think every one of us must hear during a times of great change like today. Okay. Now, isn't that a beautiful bridge? Okay. Now, there's a name for that bridge. Okay. It is actually called Choluteca Bridge. Well, built in the city of Choluteca, that's what the, the bridge was named after. And that city itself is in the country of Honduras, which is in South America. Now, this area was really well known for its extreme bad weather. Okay, So what the government did was it actually engaged a very famous uh, Japanese architecture firm you know, to build the bridge. Now, this, this company itself was really well known, Okay, well known for building the toughest bridge that survives even the wildest of hurricane. Now, in 1998, okay, that year, a very big hurricane named Hurricane Mitch actually hit the country of Honduras and especially around this city. Now, many bridges, roads, and buildings were destroyed. However, Choluteca Bridge remained standing. Well, a true testament to the wonderful Japanese engineering. However, there was just one problem. While the bridge stood firm, the roads on both sides of the bridge had completely vanished. What happened was Choletica River had literally just carved its way around the bridge. So what happened was that, you know, what had seemed like a state-of-the-art construction could not adapt to the new environment that has just happened and it, the bridge very quickly became useless. Well, overnight, the best in class bridge just became completely of zero value. In fact, it is actually now called the bridge to nowhere. So what's the whole moral behind the story? Change. Now change is something that is really unpredictable. And the thing is, and if you don't embrace and adapt to change, you too can become obsolete very quickly. You too, like this bridge, can very quickly become of zero value. Now, my question, ladies and gentlemen here, are you all well prepared for change? Or are we all well prepared for change? Now, believe me, we are all smack right in the middle of a hurricane. A hurricane named COVID-19. Now, the global business landscape had changed rapidly and a whole new normal is really unfolding. So I would say, you know, do not become a bridge to nowhere. Now, let me introduce myself. Now, for those who don't know me or meeting me for the first time, my name is uh, Ikit. Most people just call me Kit, right? Now, I too had my own Choloteca moment. Now, this must be like sometime 14 years ago. I still remember it was the year 2007. Now, for those who are young enough to remember what happened during that year, right? That year was the world financial crisis. And that was a year I truly learned a lesson that I will never ever forget. You see, I was a typical product of our education system. And what was that, right? Study hard, get very good grades, get a good job. In fact, you know, you could get a government job, right? That was the mantra back then. Uh, work very hard, you get promoted, and hey, you work all the way till you retire. Now, how many of you feel that that is the right path? Now, if you agree to that, you know, that should be the path even as of now, you can just type one in the chat box. And if you feel that maybe that mode of thinking is a little bit outdated or not very relevant, yeah, just type a two in the chat box. Come, let's, let's have some, you know, 
uh, interaction, okay? One, if you think that, you know, that's the way to go, study hard, get good grades, get a good job, work hard. Or you think that, hey, you know, I think in this type of environment, that type of thinking do not exist anymore. Just put a number two there, okay? Now I'll take a quick look at the check box to see, you know, how many of us are of that mode of uh, thinking. <laughs> Oh, great. No, I see some of you have started putting the remarks in now. Interestingly enough, my mentality back then was, yeah, as long as I work hard and the company was doing fine, everything will be fine. Well, 2007 certainly proved me wrong. What I learned that year is when change comes, it does not really care whether the company that you work for is doing well or not. In fact, it does not even care how talented or how experienced or how skilled you are. Soof, just like a typhoon coming in, it will just flatten everything that is not fitting to the new environment that he has just created. Now, I was lucky to have survived the typhoon with my job still intact. Now, many of my friends and colleagues did not. Now, not because they were not capable but simply because they do not fit into the new environment. Now, although I was lucky to keep my job, I learned a very deep lesson that year. That when change comes, it just comes suddenly. No one is invulnerable. Yeah, you may think that you are very skillful, very experienced, or even indispensable. Right? How many of us feel that way right in our job right now? But I tell you, the hurricane named COVID-19 can make you irrelevant overnight, just like that. Now, I knew back then that I had to prepare myself, right? And I survived that typhoon. So what I did then was I really started reading a lot of uh, self-help books. Now, I attended many business courses. In fact, and what was interesting was, you know, among all of them, I found a mentor in the form of this gentleman called Mr. Robert Kiyosaki. I'm sure many of you have uh, heard of his name before, right? Robert is the author of the bestseller book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Now from Robert, I actually picked up one very interesting concept, okay? Uh, it was called the cash flow quadrant. Now what I did was when I studied the cash flow quadrant, very quickly I realized that, wow, I was smack right in the middle of what we call the employee quadrant. Now, what you do in the employee quadrant, I was simply exchanging time for money. Now, nothing wrong with that, now, but to be able to withstand any future hurricanes, I realized that I must find a way to very quickly move myself from an employee quadrant to what you call the business quadrant. Now, what the difference in the business quadrant? In the business quadrant, you would have a business system and people that you can leverage on to work for you. And not just for you, but together with you, right? I decided then that I must find a way to become a business owner. Now, that was very interesting because once I made up my mind, the law of attraction works in a very interesting way, right? Now, it was then that I reconnected with an old friend, an old friend named Elvin. You know, somebody I've not seen for, I would say, about 27 years at that time. You know, his name was Elvin Young. Now, I, I, one day, I actually saw Elvin post his social projects on Facebook. Now, it was a life-changing initiative that provided financial education to the children of poor farmers in Thailand. Now, I, I really fell in love with the idea at that time. You know, I immediately supported his projects with donations. Now, Elvin was somebody whose lifestyle I've always aspired to live, right? I mean, he was, he was doing good around the world. He traveled to third world countries, do many social projects, changing the world for the better, changing lives for the better. But I realized I was stuck in a job and I never had enough vacation days. Now, I was really, really curious as to how Elvin was able to earn his living while spending so many months every year doing such projects all over the world. So, I decided to ask him out for dinner. 
and my it was certainly a life changing evening for myself. During the evening, I learned from Elvin how he built an Asia wide network enterprise, and it was this enterprise that provided him with the financial and time freedom. Well, that night was certainly the aha moment for me. I actually remember I go back, I couldn't sleep. You know, the whole night, I actually saw the possibility for me to cross over to the business quadrant. And of course, that was how I first started my Avita journey with Elvin. And today, I am an Avita network leader. And what I do is I lead professionals to channel their wealth of corporate experience on an adventure of health and wellness. And I climb new summits with them. Now, now, before I will share further my story with you, now let me share another story that I came across two days ago in the Straits Times. Now, I was reading a Straits Times and it mentions that government policies must now manage the K-shaped recovery of the post-COVID-19 era. Now, I would say we are exactly past the post-COVID. Now, what is a K-shaped recovery? Now, a K-shaped recovery occurs when after a recession, when after a recession, different parts of the economy recover at different rates or even at times of magnitude. Now, you will realize by, by this time, many of you realize that, you know, there are, tech, there are diff businesses in the technology sector, uh, you know, the software, digital marketing, they have picked up very rapidly. In fact, you know, during the COVID period, many of these businesses were thriving. While many industries like you know, the travel industry, the entertainment industry, the hospitality industry, and those who are in the gig economy, you know, from yoga teachers to instructor teachers and so forth, they are finding it very challenging to survive. You know, and then if not for some of the you know, government support scheme, you know, many of these will find it very 2020, uh, 2020 and 2021 to be very challenging. Now, I am sure that some of you are out there also feeling that way and may be open to looking at what other opportunities there may be out there. So if you are, well, type in the check box if you feel that you are in the upper K, okay? Just type the word upper if you feel that you are in the upper K or if you feel that, you know, yeah, not possibly not doing that, okay? No, maybe just type the word lower for lower K, okay? Are you in the upper K quadrant or are you in the lower K quadrant? Okay, I'll give you a couple of seconds to just type in the word upper and lower. Okay, now it's good time for you. I know, yeah, maybe you are somewhere in between both the K, you know, your, your industry is hanging on, you know, not doing too well and maybe not doing too shabbily too. Okay, good. Now I see some of you have put a uh, different wording. Some of you are in the upper, some of you are in the lower. Now, if you are now in the upper K, all I can say is congratulations. You know, I mean, you know, you have, you have, you're on a, a good trend. Now, if you feel that you are in the lower care, I also say, do not despair. Maybe this is a sign for you to seek a new opportunity. Maybe an opportunity that will bring you to even greater heights. Okay. Now, so let me now share with you how I actually analyzed the Avita business opportunity when it first came around to my uh, notice. Okay. So which side of the care are you on? Okay. Now, if you're looking for a business opportunity, now this is where, you know, my engineering and corporate training and experience actually became really, really useful. It actually helped me to evaluate the Avita opportunity in a very systematic manner. Okay, so I will share with you some three key areas that I actually look at, you know, so that everybody can learn from the experience. Now, first is, of course, the product. Now, whether it's a product or it's a service, Okay, what I learned was that the product that you have must be a consumable. Now, why is that so? Because when it is a consumable, it helps to generate repeat business. And of course, the product itself, it must meet the need of many people. You know, of course, if it fits a whole growing trend across the whole globe, across the whole world, that is even better still. Now, of course, you know, to have a product, whether it's a service, it must be effective. 
right? And if it's a product, you know, I would want to stand by something that's of the highest quality and highest safety, right? That to me is paramount to uh, doing anything, right? So that was how I kind of, uh, you know, analyze the product segment of the business. After that, I will look at the business model itself. Now to me, what was important is the business model must provide me with leverage. Now the business must also, if possible, be able to scale up quickly and best is of course, this type of business is borderless, right? No borders means I can do the business across different countries. Now, in fact, when I was looking at it, I was actually thinking that, you know, I really want to grow a business like an international franchise of uh, McDonald's or maybe Jollibee, right? Uh, of course, finally, you know, having worked so many years in corporate, I know the importance of company and culture. I wanted to study the company's leadership. I wanted to know who are the people who will be working with me, mentoring me. In fact, more important, I want to understand the value system. Now, I realized that if I cannot identify with these values, right, you know, then no matter how good the product or no matter how good the business model to me, right, uh, you know, I will not be able to, uh, to you know, progress together with you. So all these three areas are some of the elements that I was looking for when I was build, looking to build uh, what I would say a sustainable and meaningful business. Now, I still remember my first Meridian Therapy Workshop. You now, back at the dinner, I remembered that, you know, uh, Elvin back then was doing something related to Meridians. So I asked him what, what it was, and he said, well, you know, the best way for you to understand what it was was really to attend the Meridian Therapy Workshop. So voila, right? I found myself in a workshop. Now, during the workshop, I was amazed at how a 5,000-year-old TCEM preventive care therapy can be designed to be so fun, so simple to learn, but yet so effective. That's when I realized the secret. It was the power of the Avita TCM herbal essential oils. Now, created by painstaking research by professors from the renowned Yangming Taiwan University, it was like bottling up chi in a bottle making it very easy to use, but yet so powerful. In fact, I still remember the next day after the workshop, I was so excited to try out my new skills that I brought the oils that I, I, I had to a potluck party. You know, and, and during the potluck party, you know, I had a mixture of friends ranging from uh, Malays, of course, Chinese and so forth. And what I've discovered is that when I started doing shoulder gua sha for my friends, to my surprise, all my friends at the party, including my Malay friends, were delighted. You know, they were all so amazed that in fact, they all wanted to sign up to attend the workshops. Now, it was then that I smelled the potential of these TCM oils. Boom. That was really how my Avita business took off, starting with these TCM herbal oils. Now, with these oils, I just see a TCM blue ocean out there waiting for me to conquer. Now, after the workshop, you know, I really aspire to have a team of my own, just like Elwin. You know, I was, you know, I wanted to bring these meridian therapy skills and more important, these TCM oils all over the world. Now, I'm proud to say today that my team has grown not just in Singapore, but from Singapore into countries like Malaysia, Australia and Cambodia. And these oils are now helping many people in these countries to have good health. Now, at the same time, it is also helping many of my partners in these countries to build up a business for themselves and creating wealth and financial freedom. Now, I was even more excited when Elvin introduced me to the star product of Avita. Now, this is Stelogen from Switzerland. Now, for many of you who don't uh, realize it, I come from the aviation background and being an aviation engineer, I've always been dealing with cutting edge technology. Now, what I saw in Stelogen when I was first introduced to it, I saw a world-class cellular regeneration Swiss technology. Now, a technology that's able to help people slow down their 
aging, a technology that can prevent degenerative disease. Now, I was thinking to myself back then, if this does work, I can just see how astronomical the market potential is, especially given today's fast aging population. You know? Remember the, the growth trend that I'm talking about that you know, we all need to pay attention to. In fact, what I smelled back then was, Jesus, it was a multi-million dollar global market. So like any good engineers, of course, I put Selagen to the test, not just on myself, but on my family and on my 80-year-old mom who lives on her own back in Malaysia. Now, this is my mom. Okay, she stays in Ipoh. Her name is Karen. Now, Selagen certainly made my mom, you know, love her kid. <laughs> That's me with a capital K, okay, just that much more. Okay, now what? My siblings and I saw that, you know, after uh, she had started taking sedative was that she actually started looking younger. I would say grown younger, you know, especially over the last four years after she has taken sedative. Uh, what we noticed that she has better vitality, better energy, but to enjoy all the things that she loves doing. She still can play her mahjong. She does the tai chi. You know, at 83, she still drives a car and she loves traveling. I'm really grateful, you know, to Selagen for really keeping my mom, you know, at 84 years old, healthy and happy. Now, I'm, hit, I'm more than happy to be able to provide her the quality of life for the rest of her, you know, of her life. In fact, you know, to all the children out there, I would say that Selagen is a priceless gift that all of us children can give to our parents. Now, let me introduce you to my good friend, Jermaine. Now, Jermaine is a TCM physician. Her late mother, at 92 years old of age then, was suffering from many degenerative illness. And of course, you know, Jermaine, after learning about Selagen, started giving Selagen to her mom. Now, what she found was that it gave her mom much better quality of life till her passing late last year. Now, I am really grateful to have Jermaine as one of my business partners today. She is one of those few rare TCM physicians who practice what I would call integrative preventive care. She combines the best of the East with the West. Now, thanks to Jermaine, our network expanded into Cambodia. Now, let me introduce you to Daphne. Now, Daphne is a good friend of Jermaine for more than 15 years. You know, in fact, they used to work together when uh, Jermaine was still working as an accountant, you know, in Cambodia. Now, Daphne now runs her own business in Cambodia for more than 10 years. And what happened is her daughter, Nicole, you know, uh, in her early 20s, suffered from chronic insomnia and some anxiety issues. Now, with the use of the Avita TCM Herbal Essential Oil and uh, Salogen, uh, her daughter, Nicole, of course, resolved her insomnia and, and, and went back to her happy bubbly self again. Okay, So that was what uh, Selagen actually did for Daphne. And Daphne back then actually smelled the opportunity that you know, Selagen has in a new country like Cambodia. Right? Now, what is interesting now is that you, know, you might ask, you might be wondering, okay, so... At this juncture, how does Selagen fare in these new normals, especially last year? So this is where I kind of want to share with you. I'll digress a little bit. How did Selagen thrive in this new normal? Now, what's inf interesting was this, okay? Uh, Selagen, in fact, thrive in this challenging time, especially in year 2020. Because of this one thing, you know, Selagen has the ability to help your body boost the immune system. And we all know that truly one true defense you have against the virus, okay? You know, despite all these vaccines and everything, it's really building up your body, in your body, a very strong immune system, which will protect you, not just from the current, uh, you know, COVID-19, but also it's many variants that will be evolving. I think many of you kind of realize that, you know? So in one of the lab tests that was actually done in the China labs, you know, because we were uh, wanting to put, bring Selagen into China, was that during the lab test of over you know a couple of hundred boxes, you know the lab test shows that you know the uh, has the ability to boost 
both the uh, activity of what we call the macrophage and the NK cells, okay, to be, uh, to summarize it all, your immune cells in the body gets boosted with the presence of a uh, cellogen. Now, so what has that uh, turned into? In fact, we have a couple of interesting uh, cases. This was very uh, new. In fact, we just uh, received this a couple of weeks ago. For many of you would know that uh, COVID-19, you know, has hit Philippines pretty badly. So uh, many doctors, you know, uh, those who have come to know Cellogen, you know, have started taking Cellogen and they provide Cellogen to their loved ones because they realize that not only did it strengthen up the immune system, and even for those who were infected with the COVID-19 virus, they were also recovering quickly. Uh, and, you know, uh, and, you know they, it doesn't go into serious case. So in this particular case, you know, like Judeline, you know, her sister actually contracted uh, COVID and uh, Salogen actually helped her to uh, recover well, okay? And this case was also very recent. This came from uh, uh, one of our friends, uh, Ruby. This is actually Ruby's brother in New York who actually contracted COVID. And then, you know, a sister in Singapore, Ruby, upon hearing that, you know, very uh, urgently sent her two boxes. And then, you know, this was the feedback from Christopher. You know, of course, you know, she was, he was feeling really bad uh, from the uh, COVID and all the after effects. And what happened is, you know, uh, his, his feedback was that, you know, uh, after taking strategy, it really helped him in, you know, uh, boosting his recovery. In fact, you know, in a very short terms of time, he was back to his, uh, his, uh, old self again. Okay, and then of course, you know, this was one of our uh, very early stories. Uh, if you all remember, Indonesia was also hit pretty badly with uh, COVID. And uh, this couple, you know, this old couple was actually on cellular for a number of years. So when they first uh, was detected to have uh, COVID, you know, actually they, you know, even though they were in the vulnerable age, you know, the symptoms were very mild. In fact, the doctor chose to uh, hold them in the home rather than even admit them to hospital and says that, you know, surprisingly, you are in very good condition despite the fact that you have tested positive. Uh, and of course, you know, both the husband and wife recovered and, you know, they were, they were now healthy. And so this is the reason why, you know, uh, Stelogen is thriving in the new normal, especially in many of these countries like uh, Indonesia, uh, Philippines, and so forth. Or in fact, even in Singapore, you know, some of my doctor friends, are actually using Cellogen to not just help themselves, but also their loved ones, you know, because a lot of the frontliners are working very long hours and you know that long hours has a way to depress your immune system, okay? Uh, so let, let me just bring you back again to, uh, to continue with my story. And this is how we went from Singapore to Cambodia. Now remember, definitely after having Cellogen help her, smelled the opportunity. He, she seized the Avita opportunity and brought it down to Cambodia. Now, this is where I truly learned about the power of what a network marketing business model can do. Now, mind you, number one is I do not know anyone in Cambodia. In fact, I have not even visited Cambodia yet. But thanks to the business model, I was able to expand very quickly into this beautiful country. And it's all thanks to these two wonderful lady partners of mine, okay? Of course, Jermaine, who actually knows, uh, who actually knows uh, the uh, Daphne, right? So now how do I know Jermaine? Now Jermaine, you know, before she was a TCM physician, we were both adventurous. We knew each other for more than 20 years ago. And from the days when we were actively taking part in outdoor adventure, and then we reconnected again when Jermaine attended you know, one of the Meridian 101 workshops. Uh, she loved what we were doing. And despite she was a TCM physician, she actually uh, sensed the power of this TCM oils to uh, boost her business. So she decided to join me in the business. And of course, through her, I was connected to Daphne. I remember Daphne and Jermaine used to work together in Cambodia. Now, Daphne was a business owner and entrepreneur. If you remember, she owns her own, she runs her own company in Cambodia. Now, of course, after experiencing how all these oils have a daughters, right? Daphne brought these oils back to Cambodia. And of course, you know, Daphne got trained up, you know, we all together with Jermaine, we brought, we brought Meridian 101 into Cambodia. And from Cambodia, we intend to expand on to the rest of Indo-China. In fact, this is a picture of Jermaine and uh, Daphne, 
who were running their workshops, right? I'm so proud of that. In 2019, both of them conducted the first ever Meridian 101 workshop in Cambodia. Absolutely proud of these two ladies, okay? Now, we had a big group of very enthusiastic mix of locals and expatriates. Now, there are a lot of expatriates working in uh, Phnom Penh, right? You know, from PRC, from Malaysia now. Many of these have now joined us uh, as partners in this wellness business and journey. Now, I just love my Cambodian team. Just seeing how committed they are in learning and applying what they learn. Now, I am so motivated in supporting them. In fact, I am committed to work with my team and partners in Cambodia and let Avita create a better life and a better world for all of them. Now, let me just share with you why I love this business so much. This is Lei. Lei is a Cambodian lady and Lei is a friend of Daphne. Now, unfortunately, in year, in August 2019, she was diagnosed with Bell Palsy. Now, Bell Palsy is a health condition that actually left her facial muscles paralyzed. Now, Lei was really very depressed then. You know, uh, Daphne wanted very much to help her. And since it was the facial muscles that was affected, Daphne decided to teach Lei how to perform facial gua sha using the Avita TCM oils. And Lei began to do it every day. And this was Lei on the seventh day. She can actually start to feel you know, sensation returning to her face. And 20 days later, Lei found that she can now control her facial muscles. Now Lei is so happy and she's now joined Daphne as one of her business partners in Cambodia, targeting the locals and the, uh, the Cambodian market there. Now to get, today, we have a growing base of happy customers in Cambodia. Now we are also attracting many potential business partners there. And we really look forward to expand into the rest of Indochina in the coming years. You know, especially when the COVID is over, we can fly in and we're going to uh, help them to grow the business even bigger. Now, it is stories like this that reinforces to me why this business is so meaningful. Now, not only do I have the opportunity to help bring good health to those who need it, I am also able to partner with various people to help them develop a business of their own to bring them wealth and raise them to another level. Now, let me introduce you to another friend of ours. This is Florabelle. Now, Florabelle works in Cambodia and Florabelle is also a friend of Daphne. Now, Florabelle attended the Meridian 101 workshop in Cambodia and she is currently back in Philippines and because of that, our network business started growing into the Philippines. Now meet the pretty lady right in the center. That cute teenage lady is 11 years old. Her name is Eva. Now Eva became very conscious of acne, you know, teenage years, hormonal changes. She has used many types of cream and medication and none of it helped very much until Flora Bell decided to teach her how to use Fawcett oil. She applied it to her acne two to three times daily. The acne dried very quickly and heals with no scar. And because of that, Eva is now more confident of herself. I believe just you introduced to the, the, the girl on your right, you know, the, the really cute one, that is Francesca. Now, during the lockdown in the Philippines, you know, Francesca had a very high fever and a painful stomach. Now, it was very challenging to visit a doctor because of the lockdown and the mom was uh, desperate, okay? But, uh, you know, knowing that, you know, uh, she learned some skills from a floral bath, she applied an Avita oil mix on the chest of the daughter, you know, her stomach and her back. Now, and then uh, if you apply the uh, magnolia on the correct points at the back of the head, you know, you're able to reduce the temperature. You know, that's what we actually teach in our workshop, right? After just one hour, her temperature reduced from uh, roughly uh, got one degree down from 38.5 to 37.5 and it subsequently became normal. Now, her stomach pain also subsided and since then, wherever she feels uncomfortable, she will automatically reach for the Avita oils. Now, these stories I've told really just highlight to you how this business can travel across border very seamlessly. 
Now, even with Florabel back in Philippines, she can still put her skills and knowledge to good use, you know, and attract many other partners to work together with her. In fact, we worked very closely together and grew a team of competent partners in Cambodia, Philippines, and Nome. Okay, today we have a growing base of customers in these countries. Okay. Now, we really look forward to expanding into many other countries in the coming years. So you will realize by now it's unlike a conventional business. We expand our Avita business through what we call a word of mouth marketing. We promote through social media and by connecting from one friend to another friend, to another friend, to another friend. In fact, through this, we continue to build a never ending global business network. Now, what is interesting down here, take note, we do not pay any rental. I do not pay any salary. In fact, we do not pay any salary, right? But anyway, we have the company who's supporting us with the infrastructure and administrative support, the logistics and the accounting. Now, certainly a business can't get more exciting than this. Now, what I love is that Avita is a Singapore company. Now, mind you, Singapore itself is a premium brand. Singapore companies have a reputation for trustworthiness and high integrity. Now, this has really been helpful for us in opening doors, especially when I expand my Avita business across Asia and the rest of the world. Now, I've always been curious, who is the visionary person behind Avita? So let me introduce you to Miss Li Xiang Ying. Okay, she is the founder and CEO of Avita. Now, all of us fondly call her Miss Lee. Now, Miss Lee had always inspired me with her motto, for a better life, for a better world. Now, it tells me a lot of what matters to her and the reason and the purpose she set up the Avita business. Now, but nothing really beats the personal and up-close experience I had with Miss Lee. Now, in November 2017, I brought my mom on the Avita Voyager incentive trip to Taiwan. You know, in fact, I brought her along on all the uh, Voyager trips since then. Uh, this was that was the very first trip. Now, throughout the whole trip, Miss Lee always took care to have a word with my mom. You know, and ask after her welfare. Now, she showered this motherly love. Okay, not just on the uh, older folks that were. In fact, you know, I realized that. She took extra care to ensure not just my mom, but everyone else on that trip were well looked after. Now that speaks very much of her character. In fact, in Avita, what I always cherished was, we are like one big happy family. In fact, I call Avita my second family. Now that touched me greatly and remained in my mind even till today. You know, even my mom speaks for me of it. Now, I've always believed a leader who cares is a leader we can all count on through thick or thin, good times or bad times. Now, having Miss Lee at the helm of Avita, I am confident Avita is the place where I will make my first millions and many more after that. In fact, Avita is like family to me. Now, personally, I am an outdoor person. I love traveling. Now, I would love to have an international family in my network. And Avita certainly gives me that chance. Now, with 14 countries and still growing, okay, this in fact is my opportunity to grow a global Avita network franchise. And we are looking at a market size of 2 billion. And all I have to do is to connect friends after friends after friends share this amazing opportunity and then work with them and support them to succeed in the business. Just like how Elvin and many of my senior associates here had been supporting me all these years. So let me just share with you how I got started in 2016, where I am now and where I am headed to. Okay, now there are seven ranks in the Avita business, okay? Now, these first three ranks that you see down there, you know, the VIP, uh, SA stands for Silver Associate and GA stands for Gold Associate, okay? These are what we call the customer's rank. Now, promotion from VIP to uh, Silver to Gold, now that is automatic. It's just purely based on accumulated purchases. 
Now, what is important is the next four ranks. Okay, the next four ranks are what we call the business builder rank. Uh, they are the PD, the platinum director, the DP stands for diamond president, PA stands for pearl ambassador, and CA stands for crown ambassador. Now, all these ranks are what we call business builders. And why do we call them that? All these builders, they are entitled to share in 1% of global sales. And that's why they are like unnamed shareholders in the company. Now, having like somebody who comes from the corporate, what excites me most when I saw this structure was this. I could relate the, uh, the position of the platinum director rank to that of like a CEO of your own company with your own team of working partners. And then the diamond president, the diamond president, as your network grows larger, the diamond president is just like that of a country CEO, right? You have several countries uh, under you. While the pearl ambassador is like that of a regional CEO. And of course, you know, our highest rank, the crown ambassador is like that of a global CEO. Now, of course, I wish to waste no time. Back then, you know, once I decided that the business was right to build my network enterprise, I invested in the Gold Associate Business Startup rank, right? I mean, that was the rank that is closest to the first business builder rank of a platinum director. Now, more important, while holding down a full-time job, I work my Avita business with a full-time mentality, okay? So that's something I need to emphasize. The full-time mentality is important, right? So in a very short period of time, I got promoted to become a platinum director and achieve my first baby steps to be a CEO of my own network. Now, I'm very excited to be working with really like-minded partners to help them achieve their own CEO dreams. And in fact, you know, I'm uh, very proud that this year, you know, uh, in end of uh, 2020 and the beginning of 2021, I actually helped to give birth to two platinum directors, right? And so that they are now little CEOs of their own uh, company. Right. So I believe that in helping them to achieve their CEO dream, this in turn will pave my way towards my goal to challenge for Diamond President come to the end of this year. Uh, so for those of you who are ready to embrace change, for those of you who wants to thrive in the new normal, for those of you who aspire to be CEO of your own global business network, I really invite you to get started as a GA today. Now, mind you, investing in a GA startup position is only the beginning. So what does it take to build up a successful Avita business? This to me is the key. You are backed up by what we call an Avita education system and very close upline mentoring. Now, despite having more than three decades of corporate and management experience, I have gained tremendously and grown so much from this Avita training. Now, what I realized the secret was this. This Avita education system is really the secret duplication weapon that will enable your network to grow very fast and very wide. Now, I see the potential of corporate executives who combine their years of corporate experience together with the Avita education system to become really a new breed of network business leaders in this new normal. Now, the COVID-19 hurricane may have wiped out millions of jobs and more will be gone post-COVID-19. However, I actually see the Avita education system as the new MBA that will offer the chance for today's corporate professionals to be transformed into the new entrepreneurs in the new normal. Now, personally, I'm very impressed with the comprehensive coverage of the Avita education system. Now, it covers both individual and competency knowledge and skills, but yet it also covers team effectiveness, communication and leadership skill. Now, I personally have been transformed. I've also witnessed many of my team members undergone metamorphosis. Now, from being a shy caterpillar, to now a very confident, colorful butterfly from, I said, cannot do to now a can-do attitude. Now, personally, I see Avita as much more than just a global business that will make me millions. I cherish Avita for surrounding me with 
like-minded can do positive entrepreneurs who encourage each other on and lift each other to new greater heights. In fact, I cherish Avita as my second family, a family that works hard together, have fun together, champion meaningful social projects together. We come together to co-create a better life, a better world. Now, I would like now to invite all the new friends here today to join us in a little breakout room where you can meet our leaders, ask more questions, ask questions and uh, have a good insightful discussion. You know, I welcome you to get to know all of us. Now, you do not have to do anything. Uh, just uh, hang down there. This flight will automatically transport you to the uh, breakout room. Okay. So, uh, Tengi, are you ready? To yes, in transition everybody? now. <laughs> okay. See you all later. See you all later.
Hey, do we have everybody back in the room yet? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Okay, welcome, welcome back everybody. I hope you enjoyed your session in the uh, breakout room. Okay, and then uh, have some value, some of, no, some of you have some uh, valuable takeaways. So yeah, will anybody, you know, want to uh, maybe, you know, volunteer somebody in the room to share their big takeaways, you know, something that strikes you from tonight's talk. You know, we have a bit of time. So uh, breakout room leader, you know, maybe you would like to nominate somebody from your room who can share, uh, you know, some takeaways from their room so that everybody can uh, learn from it. Uh, do we have? Okay, I think it's kind of hard. Hello. Hello. Yep. Okay, can I hear you jumping. Fami, is it okay if I invite you to join because you shared something that resonated with me. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Fabi, uh, why don't you share with uh, yeah, the rest of the people, you know, uh, uh, what you said in the room right now, I think a lot of people can uh, identify with that. Come Fabi. Yeah, sorry, you want to yeah, identify why you share, it? Yeah, why don't you share that portion where you say that you uh, you had some regrets, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, what, what did you regret? Yeah, what do you regret? Yeah. No, actually, I uh, I met uh, Joy Tan in two thousand eleven. Oh, okay, okay, almost uh, ten years back. Yeah, same building. My Itachi office in the same building, nine to four. Av Avita is in the ground floor. Okay, so that time I, I uh, Joy Tan introduced me, and many section I attend the uh, section in two thousand eleven. But unfortunately, I will uh, take it seriously. Now I'm regretting you know, almost 10 years I wasted. So I think uh, I say now I am not uh, jobless. So if I supposed to start in 2011, yeah, this time will be a good time to again. Anyway, uh, past is past. So yeah. I'm, now I'm taking seriously to yeah. move further. Yeah, so I guess, uh, yeah, yeah for me, I think remember what I say, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, there could be a reason this is the yeah. time for you to, you know, uh, you know, this is time for you to look at a new opportunity and go higher, you know, go fly, fly a yes. new sky, right? Dance a new dance with us. Yes. And I really welcome you to come yeah. uh, understand us much better this Saturday, understand what the whole business is all about. And yeah. I look forward to joining you and even supporting you in your in your success. Okay, good. Thank you, Fami. I think that okay. um, that okay. sharing actually resounds with uh, yeah many people too. Okay, thank so you, let Fami. me yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Oops. Uh, okay, my screen seems to freeze. Give me a moment. Let me just uh, escape and need to reshare my. Uh, Okay. okay, now uh, let me just uh, introduce you to one of my uh, great mentor, Richard. And I always remember what Richard says, okay? And this mantra has followed me, okay? Now, opportunity favors the bold. Okay, if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity today, but you are not sure whether you can do it, say, Yes, first, then learn how to do it later. So when LV first offered me the Avita opportunity in 2016, I said, yes, I learned, I built and achieved my platinum directorship in 2017. And my yes has actually set me on the path to be the next Richard Branson, right? So today your friend who cares about you has offered you the Avita opportunity. Are you saying yes? Well, thank you and good night. Okay, I'll hand you back over to my lovely host, Veronica. Veronica, take it on. Thank you, kid. Wow. Um, thank you for those, your riveting stories. I always enjoy listening to your stories. My personal takeaway on this evening is to always look out for opportunities and not 
let adversities drag you down. So here in Avita, it's a there's a business opportunity which I hope you all take advantage of. And how can you get it get it started? We would like you to join us this Saturday for our ELS. ELS is Entrepreneur Leap Seminar. Leap stands for Learn, Evaluate, Act, Progress. So ELS is a powerful business seminar that can help many distributors to jumpstart their Avita network business. It aims to engage participants towards embarking on their entrepreneurial journey through a guided program that includes analyzing the business trends, business models, and business growth strategy. Know what you need to do to get your full, fully operational business up and running in no time. So take a leap and join us on for the ELS this Saturday. So speak with your friend who invited you to this evening's talk and they will be able to point you in the right direction on how to register. So I'd like to thank everyone for joining us this evening. And um, perhaps we would like to do a photo shoot uh, to show to um, which we like to do all after at the end of each talk. So um, now let's see, uh, is, would someone be able to help take the photo? Everyone put on your heart emoji, show your love. Okay, hang on for a while. Let me just show the, let me just show the, uh, sorry. Let me just show the, uh, the, the flyer. So for those who want to take a photo of the uh, lip seminar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can just take a quick photo of it. And then, uh, yeah, more than welcome to join us on uh, Saturday. Okay. If everyone has taken a look, no worries. You know, if you want a copy of it, just ask whoever has invited you, we'll send you a copy. And then let's go to the photo taking. Okay. Okay. So uh, is uh, Chongping able to help with the photo shoot? Yep, sure. So everyone show your love for our speaker this evening. All right, for ready? Count three, one, two, three. I think I got everybody. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a good evening. And we'll you, see you everyone. on Saturday. I'll see you on Saturday.